I don't want to breathe, I just want to pass out Reaping what I sow, that's what I'm doing cousin Keeping to my own What's up guys, welcome to Apex, thanks for tuning in In today's video, we are going to compare the theming options or the theming application on One UI versus the MIUI I've got Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra on the left hand side and on the right hand side I've got Xiaomi's Mi 11X Pro. Now what we are going to do is we are going to compare the theming options that we have on both these operating systems. What sort of theming categories we have, what sort of theming options we have, what kind of customization options that we get inside the theme application itself. Let's compare and see that I'm going to share my views about it and you can let me know your thoughts about it once you see this comparison. Now let's get started. As you can see, we have got a dedicated app for themes on MIUI, whereas on One UI, we do not have that application icon, but we can enable this icon, which I'm going to tell you in the later part of the video. So I have got an icon here, Galaxy Themes, and I have got an icon here on MIUI. We can also change the themes by going to the system settings where we get themes option. We can tap on that to go to the application right from there. Now let's go ahead and open both these apps. As you can see, we have got Galaxy Themes on the left and we have got MIUI theme on the right hand side. On the top on Galaxy Themes, we are featured and top and we have got some categories here. We've got My Stuff where I have downloaded all the themes that I liked. Then we have got Best, New, Free, Animated. And when we go to top, we can see all these themes over here where we can sort the categories by paid or free. And as we scroll down, we also get to see more categories with some tags over here. Now coming to MIUI themes, we get to see a dedicated icon for categories here. Then we have got top, space, new, selected. Now when you tap on categories, here we get to see a lot of subcategories here. As you can see, we have got on screen, music, calendar, weather, combined, analog, digital. Then we have got speciality. Here we have swipe up, slide, press on, fancy icons, round icons, square icons. So we can sort the way we want under speciality. Then we've got hot topics like nature, lock screen, loud, travel, dark and light, space. And we have got few other options like city view, personalized, minimalism, scenery, editors, pick, dark style, cool style, cartoon. So these are some cool categories that we get and it becomes very easy to sort the themes based on your preference on MIUI's theme engine. Let's go back and scroll down the page. We have got trending, recommended for you and few other options right below that. Now, if you notice something here, as you scroll down on both these applications, on MIUI, we get to see these previews of each theme as and when you scroll down. As you can see here, I'm just scrolling down here, you can see the previews of these themes. So without even tapping on them, we get a glimpse of what is going on inside that theme. Whereas on One UI, we don't see such option. As we scroll down, we only get to see the home page. So we will have to tap on a particular theme to open it and then see all these thumbnails of all the elements that are offered in that particular theme. So this is a nice option we have on MIUI's theming engine. Now here at the bottom, we have got wallpaper options, icons, AODs. And here on MIUI, we have got wallpapers, ringtones, fonts, and profile. Yes, we do get fonts option in MIUI's theme application, whereas on One UI, we will have to go to the settings to change the fonts, and we can download more fonts from a Galaxy store itself. But here on the theme store, we do not have fonts option. Now let's tap on profile on MIUI. Let's tap on this hamburger menu to go to my stuff on One UI. Now this is where we get to see all the downloaded stuff on both these applications. Here on One UI, we have got themes, wallpapers, icons, and AODs that we have downloaded. Whereas on MIUI, we have got a small window here inside which we have themes, wallpapers, ringtones, icons, clock style, and fonts. And we have got a few other options at the bottom here. So this is gonna get more interesting. Keep watching. Now on One UI, we can apply the theme right here. We can just tap on a particular theme and then the whole theme gets applied. May it be the icons, lock screen, the wallpapers, etc. Everything will get applied at the same time when I tap on that and tap on apply. Whereas on MIUI's theme store, we get more advanced feature here. Let me show you that. Let's tap on themes. Now here we have got all the downloaded themes. Now let me tap on one particular theme over here. As you can see, we have previews. And at the bottom, you can see we have got few check boxes over here. We have got lock screen, home screen, system, and icons. 
Now from here, we will be able to select a particular element from that particular theme to be applied on your phone. Now, if you don't want lock screen and if you want only the home screen system and icons, you can select them and deselect lock screen. Or let's say if you want lock screen and if you want home screen and if you don't want the icons to be disturbed and if you want the default icons or the stock icons, then you can just uncheck this particular option and then apply it. So here we get to choose what we want from a particular theme. This is definitely a very cool option that we get on MIUI's theme store. Now let me show you something more advanced. Let's go back. Here you see we have got an option called customize theme. Let me tap on this. As you can see here, we've got lock style, status bar, icons, favorites, tray, boot animation, boot audio. When we download a particular theme on MIUI's theme store, all the different elements, let's say it could be lock style, status bar, icon customization, favorite tray, or boot animation, boot audio, everything will be segregated and stored inside this application itself. When I tap on lock style, I will be able to see all those lock styles which are available on different themes that I have already downloaded. When I tap on status bar, this is how you get to see the status bar of different themes that you have downloaded. Let me tap on icons. You can see we have got all the icons available here. Likewise, the rest of the categories will show you the segregated items from each theme. Now this advanced feature will enable us to customize the theme the way we want. We can pick lock style from one theme, we can pick status bar from another theme, icons from a different theme, and we can put everything together and create our own theme on MIUI. Let me just demonstrate that for you. Let's open lock style. I will tap on one of the lock styles here. I'll select this one and apply it. Let's go back. Let's select a particular set of icons here. Let's apply this. Let's go back. I'll select a different status bar for this theme that I'm creating. Now this is how it looks. I lock the phone and show you the lock screen here. This is the lock screen I have selected. And when I unlock it, you can see the icons that I've selected from a different theme and the status bar. This is a very advanced feature that we have on MIUI's theme application. On One UI, if we have to apply a particular theme, we can go to My Stuff, select a theme and apply it. We don't get to choose the elements here. We have to apply the entire package. That is how it is on One UI. Now, the last thing which I want to discuss about is the icons. When we apply a particular theme on One UI, only the system icons will get that theme or let's say the new icon designs and rest of the third party applications will remain as they are, which makes the theme look really weird and there is no uniformity at all. This is a drawback that we have on Samsung's theme application. When it comes to MIUI's theme engine, the icon customization is a bit better. Most of the third party icons also will adapt to the new theme. At least it will get the same background as the system apps and make them look uniform. That is something which is nice on MIUI's theme engine. Now let me tap on the settings here. We have got a few toggles here. We can use the theme ringtones. We can enable this toggle to use the theme's ringtone or use the default system ringtone. Then we have got automatic updates, show ads, personalized recommendations, animated previews, all these options are here in the settings menu. Whereas on Samsung's One UI, this is the settings we get. Nothing here related to customizing the themes. Now, as you can see, we have got an option here under general, we have got add galaxy themes icon. This is the switch you need to turn on to enable the app icon for galaxy themes, which will be added on your app tray or on the home screen. This is how Samsung's One UI and Xiaomi's MIUI offers the theming options on their devices. Now, in my opinion, MIUI's theme application or theming option has an edge over One UI's theme application that we have here. Certainly, the MIUI's theme application is superior and more advanced compared to the One UI's themes. This is just my opinion, but you can let me know about your thoughts and your opinions in the comment section below. And if you're new on the channel and if you love watching contents on Samsung Galaxy phones, Android applications, One UI, MIUI, Galaxy watches, Android applications, and anything related to technology, make sure to become a part of Apex community by smashing the subscribe button. And if you like this comparison video, make sure to leave a like. Thanks a lot for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. I will see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye-bye. Down low.
up top, on my way to the bag at the bus stop, bus stop, some blow, some flop, I ain't get my shot yet, but I'm gon' pop, gon' pop, don't stop, keep going.